Yep, that happened. And I was slightly annoyed of it. Hi, I'm Sipu and today we create some little disasters in the world in the dice. While we watch me cover this dice with UV resin, I first explain what the plan is. Imagine a large D20 dice with a diameter of about 9 cm. For those with the funny unit of measurement, that's about 3.5 inches. In the dice we will somehow create a small underwater world, but first we need silicon molds. I have printed a slightly smaller dice without numbers and a dice with numbers. I think it will be clearer when you see what I'm doing. H how bad am I explaining things? I didn't know that those silicone molds will be using up so much silicone. Oh, uh, important note here, remember for later. I glued the dice on the ground and closed every draining hole in the dice. Knowing that will explain why that mold worked. After 4 hours of curing, I released the dice out of the silicone mold, which I didn't record, but I need a negative copy of the dice so that I know how big the underwater world can become. I covered the dice with aluminium foil, put clay over it and let my clumsiness run wild. At this point I already should have known that the project is cursed. Anyway. When I fixed that, it went into the oven and at some point all I heard was a loud plop. The dice broke. And then looked like this. Great. But hey, the negative copy turned out okay. I then crafted a few things that you can find underwater, treasure chest, starfish, an octopus and whatnot. Of course, cute little fish are also a must. I covered everything which wasn't covered with animals or corals with a mixture of sand and mod podge. My favorite part is the arm of the octopus that looks like it wants to steal the treasure chest. Who knows who lost this treasure anyway? Maybe inexperienced pirates tried to board a ship but they didn't know that the ship they were about to board was the ship of the legendary pirate Shiverin Shadow. So it was easy for him and his crew to defeat the reckless opponents in one fell swoop and destroy their ship. Their ship then contained the mentioned treasure chest, which sank. Where exactly the destroyed ship is, is unknown. Okay, back to what I'm doing. After painting them, I glued the two fish in place with UV resin and was delighted at how cute they are.
and then it's straight into the mold. I thought the epoxy resin should be a little bluish, so I argued with the paint bottle that it finally wanted to release a drop. The biggest air bubbles are made to burst with the lighter and so we wait 24 hours and get busy with painting the pirate ship of the legendary Shiverin Shadow. I printed this out, cheers to Thingiverse, you can find the link in the info box. And once that's done, we'll continue with the silicon mold of the dice with numbers. And this is where the drama begins. I can't glue that on without putting the dice inside. Good that I think about that now. Huh. Okay. It is what it is, I guess. At least I understood beforehand that the dice has to go in first. What I didn't record by the way I sanded that dice for hours to be shiny. That will be a catastrophe again to get that dice out of the mold. Out of that thing at all. But oh well. And that won't be the only disaster, dear past Sipu. That was the first possibility to realize the problem. But I thought everything is fine. You remember I glued the other dice to the bottom, right? I didn't do that here. But I thought once I have silicone on top, the weight of the silicone will keep the dice on the ground. As you can see, it did not. That oh no, it's floating. It's floating. Oh, for fuck. It's not gonna work when it's floating. Can you now stick to the bottom, please? I'm working on it that you stop floating, okay? Words are hard while panicking, I'm sorry. <laughs> I could have stopped here and decided to let it cure like that and peel the silicone from that. But my brain thought it would work when there is enough weight on the dice. Nine! <laughs> And 
And I was thinking about putting, gluing it on the ground. And I thought, nah, that will work. Now I just waste a lot of money. idea how to fix that. I mean just hope. Sorry past boom. There is no hope. Just put it in a pressure pot as fast as I can hope for the best. I see it floating. Oh no! Well, I tried to fix it pouring silicone on it, only to realize that this was nonsense. I also tried to push it down and hold it down somehow, but I spare you that. The results now looks like this. We know why it floated. It wasn't stuck to the bottom, but we'll find out why it broke in a moment. Since this was absolutely useless for what I had planned anyway, someone gave me the idea, after a lot of whining, that I could at least use it as a proof of concept and see if I had sanded enough and the result come out clear. Okay, das ist faszinierend. Und eklig. And that's when I realized the rest of the problem. I hadn't closed the drain holes, the pressure in the chamber had caused the silicone to pull through these small holes and get stuck there. When the air was less compressed, the dice burst. While we wait for the proof of concept to be cured, let's see what our underwater world is doing. It looks pretty good so far. Just glue the ship. I'm trying to create a few waves with Mod Podge and cotton, which didn't work well, so it's best to ignore that. I cover it with clear resin and put it in the pressure chamber for the next 24 hours. Time to look at the test piece and luckily it's perfectly clear. This is perfect. So we print the dice again, send it, I now have a disc sander for this and that went quite quickly. Look how shiny! This time I closed all the drain holes, glued the dies to the base and poured the silicon mold. This time everything was great.
So back to the underwater world. It can now come out of its mold and we can see it for the first time in the resin. It looks good too, maybe the project will turn out well after all. The silicone mold for the dice has now also dried and after I first cut the mold open correctly, I confused myself and thought I was cutting in numbers. Only to then actually cut in numbers. Too bad. Why should anything go right with this project? Please talk about what kind of tongue acrobatics I'm doing. When I saw the footage, I was in tears laughing. I really have to stop doing that. <laughs> When the mold was finally finished, I poured in clear resin again, squeezed in the underwater world, covered it with more resin and waited another 24 hours. I was finally able to remove the dice from the mold and the project has come to an end. I have made the sides a little prettier and painted the numbers. Unfortunately, the surfaces have become a bit concave and I don't know why. I will show it in more detail in the final shots. So if you have any ideas as to why this happened, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, enough of what went wrong. In the end it turned out quite nice. There are a few things I would have done differently now looking back, but all in all I think it turned out pretty cool. I already have a few future ideas that will look a little bit different, so if you're up to videos like that consider to subscribe to that channel. Also feel free to leave a like and a comment and now we are going to the final shots. <laughs>